Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Ray, and I'm back at it. We're back at it again. Today I'm going to be doing a reading that has been requested on Elisa Lamb. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory, a little bit of background for those of you that may not be aware um, of who she is or what she did. Um, so on February 19, 2013, a body was recovered from a water tank atop the Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. It was later identified that as um, as of that of Elisa Elisa Lam, also known by her Cantonese, Cantonese name Lam Ho Yi. Um, she was a Canadian student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. She had been staying at the hotel when she was reported missing at the beginning of the month. A maintenance worker discovered the body when investigating guests complained of the problems within the water supply and pressure. Now, her disappearance has been widely reported, um, and I'm not going to read all of this, um, but basically the, the, they saw her on the security camera in the hotel um, by an elevator. She's seen exiting and re-entering the elevator, talking and gesturing in the hallway outside, and sometimes seeming to hide within the elevator. And this this video apparently went viral on the internet, right? Um, and there's been a lot of speculation as to how her death actually occurred. Um, the hotel, I believe, has been sued, and it's since has changed its name or rebranded as Stay on Main, okay? So I'm not from Los Angeles, California. I don't know anything about this hotel. I've heard about the Cecil Hotel being haunted. Um, and a a according to all of this, um, it's saying here that um, her death, I guess, was um, had like similarities between the 2002 horror film Dark Water. Um, and it's also been referenced in international popular culture. Um, so I don't know. Um, they say that she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, depression, uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, and it seems that she had been blogging, um, according to what they have here. Um, so I guess a lot of people want to know, like, what is, what is going on, um, the autopsy was very, um, it took like four months, I believe. So it's, it's sketch. <laughs> it's sketch, as we would say. Um, so I hope everybody is doing well. Um, and I'm going to be using my tarot as well as my intuition. Um, immediately, I will say that, you know, not every case is foul play. Sometimes there are cases where, um, you know, things happen. People are are suicidal, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to tell you exactly what I get from her. Um, as I connect. So um, I'm just praying that God surrounds us with white light as we go into this reading and that everything that needs to be said or needs to come forward is going to come forward. So um, I hope all of you are doing well. Um, very interesting case too. Very, very, very interesting I saw this, one of my viewers uh, commented, I believe, on Tiger Woods' video or one of the videos that I did recently, wanting me to do this and kind of channel, like, um, so here we are. So let me just shuffle. I'm going to pull out some cards here and see what is going on here. Um, okay. Interesting. Okay, y'all won't be able to see the cards here, but um, I will sh kind of show them up to the screen as I get into this. Um, she, she, they did not lie that she had depression because that's coming out very evident in this card. Um, I mean, in these cards, like it's coming up here. Um, and I'll show them. Like I said, I'm just pulling them out right now. I like to pull them all out and then kind of look at them. A lot of twists and turns I get immediately. Let me look at her photograph on my phone. I like to look at it so that way I can kind of um, tune into her energy. So when I look at her, um, immediately I do get that she... Uh, she was very much, I feel like, the loner type. She didn't really... Um, mesh well or fit in with a lot of other people. I also feel like her background, I feel like she was gifted. Like she is very much like 
she had mediumship ability. So when she was telling the parents or people in her family that she was seeing things, she was really seeing things like she could see the paranormal. But a lot of times they will discredit you when you are a psychic or a medium and say that you are, you know, suffering from mental disabilities or mental problems. Now, this hotel, though, let me tell you, like, I don't know anything about the Cecil Hotel, which is now the state. I'm going to refer to it in this reading as the Cecil Hotel, okay, because I don't know anything about it, but I can tell you there are tons of spirits in this hotel. It is very, very haunted. I don't know how many floors, but I keep getting drawn to, like, the, I feel like the, there's a part, uh, like a sub part. I don't know if it's a basement or a lower level to this um, place but there are vortexes that are opened up in this hotel from what I can see I also feel like there's something very interesting with the second floor and then also with the elevator systems I feel like there's a lot of spiritual activity so she was seeing something for sure she was communicating with something she was not crazy maybe she did suffer from depression on some level but at the same time she was not crazy like they are trying to depict her as being like psycho loony the girl was not. I, I do feel like she did suffer from it, and she did have um, a lot of struggles with friendships and stuff. Let me look at another picture at, of her, because I like to look at sometimes a couple of pictures. See, I don't know. I'm just using the one off of um, that I found, the, the closest one. Okay, okay. So here I get some different pictures. Okay, I'm looking at her here in the elevator. Like, this is this, what they have here. Now, they, they believe that in the elevator there were some, um, it was edited. The video was edited. I don't believe that the video was edited at all. Um, she comes across very emo, but also very intelligent as well. She did have a darker side to herself, um, and I feel like she was easily influenced by spirits. But she was a good girl. Like, she was a good um, level-headed student here. Um, so apart from the spiritual things that are going on, I kind of feel like there was a lot of things that she didn't reveal, maybe to her parents or to friends or to people that she cared about. So I do feel like there was definitely some kind of um, stuff that she kept secretive uh, about her. Um, deep down, she was not happy, even though she may have smiled in these photographs and but she was not happy. She had to be, because I got here the night of Pentacles. So for me, it almost feels like she was chasing money in some ways. She was going on a journey, right? Um, she wanted to do better than her parents, do better than her family. And that was like her long-term goal. But there was a lot of distractions, I feel, with that. And then we have here the strength card. So for me... The strength card symbolizes that she had to be a little strong through whatever she was going through. I feel like she may have experienced childhood bullying bullying as well. I don't know. Um, with the Three of Wands, it kind of feels like, again, looking out towards the future. Her mind was always thinking ahead, thinking of, you know, the future, things, things that were going on, things that could happen. Um... I kind of feel this feeling like she was being watched by somebody like this is definitely there is definitely male energy. And as I get more into the reading, I'm going to tell you what I see. But I definitely feel like there is a cover up in this hotel apart from the paranormal things. Her death was not paranormal. It This was definitely foul, there was foul play is what I get. You know, um, there's also a lot of memories of the past with the six of cups. So. Um, she had a lot of fond memories of her childhood, but also, I don't know, like there's a, this level of loss. And I feel like the Six of Cups also can signify for some people like a strong spiritual connection to the other side. So again, this goes back to what I said initially that I felt like she was a medium in some ways. She had strong mediumship abilities, right? What's interesting is the King of Wands comes out, okay? So this makes me feel like this could potentially be somebody that's a Leo. Somebody that, um, you know, it's a very sexual card when I say that because, again, the King of Wands represents the male or the phallus, right? It represents a very dominant male, um, but not so dominant in some ways, but very creative as well. So um, even though it depicts a darker skin male, I don't feel like this was a dark skin male. It was a light skin male, and I do feel like he was much older than her. 
And I feel like this person was watching her because when I look at the elevator and um, videos and I'm looking at that, she was like hiding literally from somebody like she was scared that she was being followed and she felt it. So I also feel like there there's definitely something that's going on in this hotel um, when I tune in. Something is wrong with it. Like there have been cover ups like there have been missing um, people like I don't know if they've even done um, at some point, like they were accused. I'm not saying that they did or, you know, this happened, but, um, from spirit, like what they make me feel like, you know, could, was, were there rumors of human trafficking going on at, around this location or on in this hotel? It's interesting because that's not something that I would normally, you know, pick up on, but it feels very much like, um, Important people have gone to this hotel. So I feel like I said, I'm not from California. I don't know anything about the Cecil Hotel, but I know that it is definitely haunted. There are entities there that are not good entities. Some of them are malevolent. Um, and as you get higher up in the um, higher up in the hotel, it gets a lot more intense, the energy, and it feels very, very yucky. Um, then we have here the Eight of Wands. So with the Eight of Wands, there was a lot of communication. There was a group effort in covering this up. With the Five of Cups, though, it tells me that there was something that she was going through on an emotional level. I do feel because watch, you will see the next card that I pull, which I already pulled it, and it's here. There was a love affair going on. This was somebody, she, I don't know if she had a boyfriend or she was communicating with someone, but I honestly feel like there was somebody that was interested in her in some way. Again, I feel like this is a, a, a Caucasian male. I feel like he's much older than her. I feel like he wears glasses at certain times. I feel like he's really thin, tall, um, but I don't know what his connection is if he agreed to meet her at the hotel or he was waiting there or she was told to go to that hotel. I know that she was staying at the hotel. Like I said, I've read some of the case just a, a minute, a minute ago when I was doing that, but, um, I, I don't know. They found her body supposedly naked. This is kind of graphic, um, naked with all of her personal items floating in the tank. Supposedly again, allegedly she was 21 at the time of her death. Okay. So she was very, very young. Um, but again, very mature in her age. Look, the lover's card comes up. So there was definitely something going on here. There was something that the... Me so um, as you, you know, we look at this, I'm looking at the five of cups that came up. And I'm also looking at the lover's card. And when we hold these two together, there's definitely something that was not right. Something that was like heartbreak, like maybe she had feelings for someone, but there's definitely something coming through about love. Um, and again, somebody having an obsession over her. Like I said, somebody was watching her is what it feels like, almost like you're being stalked in some ways. That's the body language from the photos uh, or the video footage from the elevator. But also, I feel like she felt like something was, was wrong. Um, the Nine of Cups tells me, though, that she was hopeful. She was hopeful for happiness. It, it was, you know, this was like her chance, she thought, maybe to be happy. But ultimately, there's a lot of deception around this. And there is somebody else. There is the Emperor. So the Emperor comes up. There's two men. Um, but the Emperor is much stronger than, than the King of Wands. So... Um, it kind of feels like the emperor could be somebody in the hotel, like a staff member who um, maybe had something to do with the cover up or whoever, you know, that was in control. There is somebody in the hotel. Um, I don't feel like they're there anymore. Maybe they got they left um, or maybe they were like a guest there. But there's definitely somebody that was in the hotel that knew the ins and outs and knew how to maybe shut off the security cameras or I, I don't know, but it's very, very weird. Cause I feel like ultimately like there was definitely somebody that was watching her and I definitely feel that there was foul play. I definitely feel like she did not commit suicide. I don't feel like this was suicidal. This was not due to depression. I don't feel like, you know, she was that type of person. I honestly feel like, um, she may have had depression. She may have had all that, but this was not suicide at all. I feel like, again, there is definitely something about love here, something about um, manipulation and things not turning out the way that um, But I'm going to seek some clarity um, from, with some additional cards here. And then I'll be able to tell you, sorry, a deck here fell. So let me just position that back up. We got it here. Let's see what else comes out. 
um, the magician. So a lot of trickery, a lot of covering up here, um, a lot of magical things. People have done rituals in this hotel. I don't know. Apart from the paranormal, they've done seances in some of the rooms. Again, I don't know. I'm not familiar, but I'm seeing visions with the magician things come up. This place has bad juju. It has bad, bad energy. The two of pinnacles came up. So again, a lot of decisions. Um, then we have the seven of cups. There was this male that had a lot of different options, a lot of different um, decisions to make. Um, this could be the person that's involved or responsible for her um, murder, right? And, and again, when I say murder, this is all allegedly from what I see. Um, she is on the other side, I feel like, with three people or well, two other people plus herself. So she's not alone. The Three of Cups typically means like celebrations, announcements, you know, friendships and stuff like that. But I feel like she is trying to tell me that she's on the other side with two other women um, in her family that may be like an older great grandmother and a great great grandmother. But she's not alone on the other side. Look, the sun. So she is in heaven. She is. Um, I don't know if you can see that this light is kind of blinding. Um, trying to position it in a way. I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can see it there. She's in heaven. She's okay. Even though I know that I think that her parents um, worried about her ultimately and on the spiritual side. I'm not familiar with the Chinese customs or traditions or how they feel about the souls um, or what their belief system is. But I definitely feel like she is in a good place. And I definitely feel like... Um, um, somehow, I don't know um, if the parents won any kind of lawsuit or got money, but the Queen of Pentacles comes up for me. So I feel like there was, would have definitely been maybe the mother wanted some money or a female in the family wanted some kind of money, whatever litigation, whatever has been going on. Um Justice will be done is what I get from her with the six of wands. It kind of feels like justice will be served. So whoever did this to her is going to get his like he, that person is going to get it at some point. Like I feel like, again, this is going to be karmic and also her may be haunting them from the other side, even though, you know, she's in heaven. I think that they can come back to earth. I do believe that uh, Ace of Pentacles. Again, there was a lot of stuff going on with this hotel. A lot about money, money influences. There's a lot of dirt things again i just get icky feelings like i want to just take a sh hot shower and just scrub my body so whatever's gonna i don't know if people have um prostituted in this place not you know or what they've done but this place has this icky feeling like um like people you know they go there but it's not really for business stays it's like a lot of it is very sexual and the, a lot of the people i feel like there's other deaths that have occurred there um and then we get the moon so a lot of that has been covered up is going to be illuminated um a lot of it has been hidden and it's it's going to come out into the light sooner or later then we have the page of pentacles as well so again just so much um stuff about money here the, the people that ran it were very ambitious judgment like that's how she feels i feel like she feels like she was judged harshly for her you know her mental health and she's saying that she was not to the point i feel like with that card she's validating that she was not mental to the point to commit suicide this is not suicide look high priestess trusting the intuition she had the gift she had the gift I could see it in her eyes. I can see it when a person has the gift. She had the gift. Um, the world. So she completed what, even though she was very young. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I hate that this light is doing that. Let me just lower it. But this is the world card. This tells me everything that I need to know. Her soul came into this lifetime. It completed its cycle. It definitely, she has achieved what she needed to achieve. I definitely feel like she's far from over on the other side. And she definitely will reincarnate at some point. Because her life was cut short. The thing that she didn't get to experience was true love. And I think that's going to be the, the mitigating factor of why she reincarnates at some point in the future. It's because she was not meant to find love or true love or experience experience that in this lifetime as she was searching for it but there's definitely some sinister male energy around here and this obsession that led to her demise again they said that they didn't find anything in the body and whatnot like i've said you can you can't trust the media excuse me you can't trust the media and you really can't trust what is put out there because half of the stuff is fabricated um people run with the, the reporters run in the news media they will run with stories just to sell tabloids just to sell or, or to get views right 
but I definitely feel that there was definitely foul play. Um, and I definitely feel like there was something around, um, something, something, I don't know. I just feel like this restrictiveness on my throat. They said that there were no marks, I believe, on her body. But I feel like almost like this person is being suffocated in some way. So I, I get a, I get some graphic things that I can't share here. But I definitely see that there was definitely um, something that happened in one of the rooms there at that place. And I feel like then she was just her body was moved up to this tank or whatever it, it is. Um, and that's what I feel because I feel like. Um, honestly, like you're being pinned down and kind of like that sensation where you're being kind of suffocated in some way. So, um, again, very ugly feelings, um, and very, very graphic, but I'm sorry to share that, but that's what I see. Again, everybody's going to be entitled to their own insight, their own, you know, and I'm not saying that what I'm got, you know, is everything to the point, but I really, really feel like there was a lot that's not been said and a lot that will come out, um, but I don't discredit, you know, her medical diagnosis um, as suffering with mental health issues because I honestly feel like she she did. But I don't feel like, again, she was suicidal. And I've said that several times. So um, this is a reading on Elisa Lamb. May her soul rest in peace. And I hope that this brings some kind of maybe closure to the family, that she's in a good spot and that she's OK and that the person will get his like there is going to be justice done in this situation, which is very sad, very tragic. Thank you again, my rays of light. If you have any other suggestion of people that you want me to do a mediumship reading or a psychic reading on, please um, drop a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button on the right bottom corner, as well as turning on the uh, notification bell icon to all. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're not at Psychic Medium Ray. Also, if you'd like to book a private psychic reading, yes, apart from celebrities, I do read everyday people. You can visit my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net. Again, thank you so much for being here. Many blessings and love and light. Until next time. Bye.